What's happening, everybody? This is Cody, a.k.a. DFS Prodigy, coming to you live with Dustin Shelton. We are here breaking down this Thursday preseason slate. It's a two-gamer. Um, the tight end spot's kind of nasty, but we have a gym that we're going to definitely hit on. But, yeah, we have a four or two-game slate. Hopefully all the games play compared to the Hall of Fame game where we got rained out, and it was definitely a, a bad slate for me, at least. I played the wrong tight end. I know you bail, got bailed out by, what, Cam Akers, who – 2017 legend i mean oh yeah playing in preseason but it is what it is um we're gonna find the plays for y'all we're gonna kind of see what we can build and then kind of go from there but we're gonna go position or we're gonna go team by team actually instead of position by position to make it easy on everybody but how's it going man going great man i am very happy with how my hall of fame game played out i'm kind of actually glad <laughs> it got ringed out because i think if more guys would have got some carries or catches i would have fell out of cash and zone and uh, yeah, yeah, I was. We were texting back and forth that night. And when uh, I've Tarantano, Torino got in that end zone, I knew you probably had thrown your phone across the room. Yeah, that was the that was not the tight end I played. I did not play any Quarantino, but yeah, it is what it is, man. We're here for preseason, so we're gonna start uh, off with Carolina at the quarterback spot. Uh, Bryce Young's definitely not playing. Dalton's <laughs> injured. They signed Jake Lutton, who is not in the player pool, but he is on the depth chart as a fourth string. It's going to be Jake Plummer time, in my opinion. I mean, he's the guy that we've talked about before the stream that we're locking and loading. He's going to get a ton of work. Um, are you in agreement? Jake Plummer is the go-to guy on the slate. Well, it's Jack Plummer. Jake Plummer retired a couple of years ago. I but, think this might be his son. Is this his son? I think so, yeah. My bad. I think it is. It's Plummer time, baby. What I mean, look, he's going to be really popular, but – in the preseason, I will bite. I will eat major chalk, and I will bite on the big fish if he is going to play the whole game. I am law locked in on Plummer. A quarterback playing a whole preseason game is very rare. I mean, I could see him get probably three quarters, maybe into the fourth. I'd be surprised if Lutton got – you got to think Lutton – yeah, Lutton was there last year. But well, yeah. totally, totally different offense from Wright to uh, Canales. Mm -hmm. And – a week is not enough to be put in a game at a quarterback. So I think Plummer is playing the whole game. Unless he gets injured. God forbid. <laughs> Please don't wish that on us. I am Please not. Don't. <laughs> Please that's don't. Too, so I can't. I, that's my team, too. I don't want that to happen. We're just going to end the stream now if he gets injured. I'm done. Uh, just, just put your phone down and go, go enjoy your Thursday night if that happens. Right. So looking at the running back spot, we know Brooks is injured. Um Hubbard, I don't expect to play. I don't even expect Sanders to play. That leaves Blackshear, Boone, and Sheridan. Um, I mean, Mike Boone, preseason darling for the Texans last year. Mm -hmm. This spot for me is kind of just a meh. I mean, I'm not really looking at a ton. Yeah. I see Blackshear starting and playing probably until about the first – in the first quarter, mid-second quarter. And Mike Boone – if I all these guys, I'm in agreement with you that he's the top guy out of this group. I mean, he's it's mainly looking at a pass catcher. I mean, getting yards in the receiving end is what I'm looking at with Mike Boone. Um, going to receiver, Don, uh, Johnson, I don't see him playing. I don't see Adam Thielen playing. Leggett, I don't see playing at all. That leaves Mingo, who I don't know what to do with, if he's going to see run or not. Because if he sees run, we know – the capabilities there from last year that we saw. Same thing with Terrence Marshall. I don't know if they're going to want to play him. So it's kind of just – I don't know who to really look at other than mainly Coker. I know you're looking at Smith-Marset. Yeah. Kind of looking at Coker. What do you think about this spot on receivers? I can see why you're looking at Coker. He's been looking really good in camp. Um, Marset, they spent a draft pick on him last year. They traded a pick to the Chiefs for him. And Marshall – this is his fourth year there, and he's fighting for a roster spot. So if you want to use that, if you want to use that uh, uh, narrative to put in your lineup, but he's fighting for a roster spot, which he really is. That's that's not a narrative thing. That's a true thing. You can throw him in there. Uh, I can see him playing quarter, but the guy you're looking at, you like you're leaning more towards Coker and the rookie. I'm leaning towards more Marset because he does have something to prove as well because they traded for you. And David Moore's a veteran. Yeah. They brought him in because he knows Canales' system. Strawn, uh, Indy, 
a, a Indianapolis Colt preseason darling from a couple years ago. Don't really see him getting much run. So I think the two guys out of this one is Mingo, and I, I don't know, maybe a quarter out of Mingo, and that's not enough for me to pull a trigger on him. So Marset and Coker, it's just which one you're, which one you feeling? I'm looking at Coker. I'm leaning Marset. See, this is this. I mean, you can play both of them. It's nothing wrong with that. But the position I really want to talk about on this nasty tight end spot is the Panthers' tight ends. Um, Trimble's injured. Thomas is injured. Sullivan's on the IR. They have Matthews and they have Franks. And then if you look at the depth chart as well, scrolling down, they just signed Holster and Horstead. So I don't expect them to get run because they just signed them. So it's going to be mainly Sanders for me, who's I'm looking at. Unless you want to play the washed Jordan Matthews nope. or the washed Felipe Franks, who's a quarterback. <laughs> nope. And Jordan Matthews is a former wide receiver. Yeah. For the Eagles back in 2013. Yeah. He's so, been around for that long. Yeah. So uh, for me, the stack will be Plummer, Coker, and Sanders. I mean, for you, it would be Plummer, Marset, and Sanders. I'm not ruling out playing Coker as well. I'm not ruling that out. So not, I, I'm not a not a guarantee though, but I'm thinking about it. So yeah, that's what I'm mainly looking at for me. Um going to New England. <laughs> Quarterback spot's kind of nasty. I mean, they're gonna play Bursette, they're gonna play May, they're gonna play Milton, and they're gonna play Zappy. I'm not looking at any of these quarterbacks whatsoever. Are you? No, I'm not either, because like I said, I'm sold on Plummer. So this one's out of here. Uh Brissette. May get a drive or two, may may play a quarter, may might come out there and surprise some people with his rushing ability. That's something, something to take a look at, but it's not enough to get me to play him. And Zappy and uh, Milton, uh, I mean they're I, tra- they're trashing Drake Man Camp. <laughs> Everybody, well, I mean, I mean, granted though, like we've all heard this before. I've I've seen. You remember Jamar Chase preseason? at camp. he can't catch. Oh, he's not good. C.J. Stroud's not look. C.J. Stroud didn't look good in camp last year. He looked pretty bad against the Ravens week one. I mean that I'm not worried about that at all. Yeah. That's just that's just reporter trying to make a headline lingo that I cannot stand. And one reason why I got out of it, by the way, I got tired of that life. It's just they do that all the time. They're just trying to get clicks. All right. Probably looks fun. So running backs. This is the main team I'm looking at running backs wise. Stevenson, I doubt, is going to play. Gibson, I doubt, is going to play. Fenwick is gone. So that leaves Harris, J- Hasty, Jennings. Um, that's Kevin Harris time. <laughs> it's simple. Yeah. I'm, I'm locking and loading him. If you're watching this video and you need someone to play, the one one that we can guarantee you is Kevin Harris. Lock yeah. him in and just move on. Yeah, because, I, I mean, I love Harris here. Hasty's kind of the vet. They already know kind of what they're looking at. A pass catcher, a special teams kind of guy. Um, Terrell Jennings, I don't mind going to as well. Um, don't look at him. So that's kind of Harris and Jennings for me. Mainly Harris. Any cons- any complaints on your end? Nope, I'm good. Same thing, man. Same thing. So receivers wise, I'm not yeah. expecting Bourne. Yeah, Bourne, no. Douglas, no. Nope. I mean, you have Juju who is fighting for a spot. Trying Man, to team. I, I hate that. I love Juju. I, it's just, it's time to go back to Pittsburgh, bro. Like, yeah. I, I kind of hope that happens. They're trying to get Ayuk. If they don't land Ayuk, get Juju. <laughs> you know, so Man, you got, for got me, big. for me, I'm looking at Polk. Um, I'm looking at Baker. Main two guys I'm looking at on this team. Um, again, Javon Baker to be exact, not. Baker down here. Juan Baker. Rager, I see Rager. Rager was their kick returner last year. And so, like I said in last week's video, with this new kickoff, we saw some kickoffs were like one or two tackles away from being broken. But I don't want to play the Patriots defense against Plummer. If they get a kick return, it- – like shoot, I have seen I've seen a small slate where the quarterback is gone against the defense and it won first place. For a preseason game, I don't think it's a big deal. 
you can definitely do it. If if Rager returns a kick and gets you twelve points from the defense and Rager, the you're 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 going to go away with some big money. Yeah. So I don't expect to see much of KJ Osborne as well. I mean, again, kind of the vet in the game. Um, that signing at all, Juju. If you want to play him, play him, I guess. I'm not really looking at him. He's going to get run. You know he is. I, I secretly hope Juju does well cuz I I just like Juju Smith-Schuster. I mean, he's going to try to play, he's going to try to play lights out to make a spot on the team. That's sad that he's got to make a spot on this terrible team. I mean, for real. Um the tight end wise, there's no way I'm playing a tight end on this team. No way. I mean, they have Henry, they have Hooper, Wilcox, Bell, there, there, there's plenty of guys on this tight end slate that you could rather uh, that I rather go to. So, like I said last week, tight ends on preseason, man, just don't worry about them. I mean, I picked the wrong one. I was right there, man. Well, it's just an anomaly, dude. I'm guaranteed this week is not going to be much of a difference. I mean, Carlson looked good on the Bears last week during the game. So, you can just stop with the tight end, man. Same. Tight end preseason. What if I play two tight ends, one in the flex? Just saying. You're gonna have the same thing next week. Um, I I miss cashing. <laughs> I mean, I did cash, but it wasn't wasn't great. So going to Detroit and Giants. Um, looking at Detroit, it's Hayden Hooker. I mean, it's Hooker time. I'm playing. I'm playing him, and I'm playing Plumber. Main two guys. I'm looking at the quarterback spot. Uh, yeah. they're not playing golf. I highly doubt they're gonna play a lot of Sudfield. Maybe they play mm-hmm. two quarters, maybe a quarter. But I think they're going to try to get a lot of Hooker just because of Dan Kim wanting to play the young guys. So yeah. get your dollar bills out. It's Hooker time. <laughs> or, I mean, but Suffield got a lot of run last year. And Suffield threw – I mean, they let Suffield sling it around a little bit. He had one game that had more than 20 – had more than 20 attempts. Yeah. So, I mean, they kept him around, so they have a deal that like him. Yeah. So, I mean – Doing something right, yeah. Running back wise, uh, they're not playing Gibbs, I'm not playing Montgomery. This is where I don't know what they're gonna do. Um, are they gonna play Reynolds? I don't know how much they're gonna want to play him. I mean, they have some of them, Bam Knight, who I think oh, will get run. I didn't even know who's on this team. Jake Funk is more of a fullback. Oh, I know, <laughs> yeah, go on back, and then they have Jefferson. So, again, on this spot. Running back wise, I'm not really going to play a lot of running back, or I'm not going to play a running back on the Lions. Oh, if, I'm, if I'm going to pick one, it's going to be Knight. I don't know, man. See, you and I have been playing DFS preseason for a while, and these names that pop up are ones you know you used to play and used to help you cash. And that is the Funk. Jake Funk has helped me cash a couple of times in a preseason game, so I got a little bit of a, I got a bit of a love for him. But man, Reynolds. I just really? don't know how much they're gonna play him. I don't know either, man. They like him. I mean, he could get a quarter. I mean, I could be completely wrong. He could get he could get a full quarter, maybe, maybe going into the second. And like I said with Pierce last week before he got rolled out, you know, you get one quarter, run it in, you're optimal. Oh, they do have Makai, the rookie, who's not on the player pool. Uh, it's just too much of a bet. They like Craig Reynolds because he's been there for a while, even though they got all these back. Even when they had Jamal Williams and Swift, they still had Reynolds. They they like him. Because I forgot they have a guy, so but he's not in the player pool. Um can't play him. Yeah. <laughs> Looking at receivers, um, they're not playing Sam Brown. We both know that. They're not gonna I don't think they're gonna play Jamison Williams. Um maybe. I can see them trying to get maybe I think, him, I think they want him to step up. So they might run him a little bit in the in the preseason, but I don't think it being very long. Yeah, maybe a drive. Raymond, I don't think they're gonna play. Um this is where we kind of I don't know what they're gonna do exactly. Uh DPJ again, he could play. Yeah, Anton Green, maybe. Um Fountain has been looking good in camp. So but he's getting first team reps. So I, honestly, how much are they going to want to play him? Um, Kennedy, maybe. Oh. There's a there's another DFS darling right there. So for me, it's mainly some of Fountain uh, and Kennedy. What, what are you looking at on this slate, man? To be honest with you, on the lines receivers, there's just too many mouths to feed. 
Yeah. I see every one of these guys getting one catch for 19 yards. It's definitely possible. Definitely possible. Um, tight end, same thing as the Patriots. I'm not playing any tight ends on the Lions. No, thanks. Nope. So, last but not least, the Giants. Um, Daniel Jones, he needs to play in freaking training camp, I swear. Or he needs to play in preseason, but they're not going to play him. He's fighting everybody. I know. Uh, Drew Locke and DeVito. So, for me, I mean, like you kind of said, Drew Locke, he could, he could shred preseason defenses. He definitely could. It's just I don't know how much he's going to play, and that worries me because when I can play plumber – for possibly three to four quarters, I might get a quarter or maybe two out of Drew Locke and then maybe two out of DeVito. How yeah. much is like an impact plumber where, again, he could get three quarters, you know what I mean? So it's just kind of the guessing game on who do you trust? <laughs> I mean, Locke and Plumber could have the same amount of points, but with the ownership, with, with way different ownership, Locke can be 12% owned. Plumber will be 60 something percent owned. You know, if they get the same points, are you really making much of a difference playing lock over plumber? Yeah, that's the thing is like ownership and how much playing time that you think this team is going to give Locke and DeVito. And look, I am a, I am a, I'm a big, I'm a big, big um, believer in fading chalk. I love playing chalk as part of my strategy most weeks, but not this week, man. I, I just cannot turn down a guy that's going to play a whole game in a preseason game. Right. So for me on the Giants, though, I'm mainly looking at running backs. I want a lot of Tracy and Miller. I mean, Miller has been looking great in camp. I know we said a ton about a lot of players, but I mean, again, the the quote is there. So I'm looking at Tracy and I'm looking at Miller. I'm not playing gray. I don't think they're going to play Singletary. Then you have Corbin on the IR. So that leaves Tracy, Miller, and Sailors. So I wouldn't even mind playing both Tracy and Miller in the same lineup. You can. You definitely can. Just With, to get uh, just to get the full allotment of snaps, man. <laughs> yeah, because I mean you got well, I mean, we, we we both agree Harris is locked in. There's really no one else. The Lions is too much of a mess to play. The Patriots is too much of a mess to play, except Harris and Carolinas, we just don't know. So yeah. you can rock both of those backs with Harris. So that's what I'm mainly looking at for me. Um, receivers, they're not going to play neighbors. Slayton, I don't think they're going to play. They're not going to play Wandell. They're not going to play Hyatt. And then you have the the washed vet, Allen Robertson. You have McKenzie. Yeah. Who they got? But for me, <laughs> I don't really, I don't even know, man. I mean, these are a lot of freaking special teams guys. When you have yeah. Gutter and you have Hodgins, I mean, maybe, like you said, you like Hodgins. I do. So. I, mean, I can show, I ahead. can show some uh, flashes a couple years back, and uh, so I think that we get a lot of run out of him. See, the thing is, we're not sure on the Giants' quarterback, but with that being said, though, the Giants by a country mile have the best quarterback talent on the field Thursday night mm-hmm. because Drew Lock can be a starter on some teams. Devito can show flashes of greatness. And they're both going to play. You know, they're going to keep some receivers out there that are going to get – they're going to feed off this good quarterback play. And I think Hodges – and the, now to think about it, I think Hodges and – uh oh, Lord, this is part of getting older. I don't like – can't remember dude man's name. It was Hodges and uh, uh McKenzie. Yeah. I think they're both getting a pretty decent run with Locke and DeVito. I mean – Because they're going to be competing for that backup spot. I mean, they have Miles Boykin. <laughs> Practice squad kind of guy. Thanks. Because, I mean, maybe someone Wheaton if he's healthy. But tight end-wise, this is kind of another tight end spot I might look at. So, Bellinger, I don't think they're going to play because Waller's retired and making rap videos. So, he's gone. Yeah, uh, he's gone. <laughs> yeah. So, Bellinger, I don't think they're going to play him. You have the rookie, Theo Johnson, who I want to look at. I like him on this slate. I mean, it's between him and Sanders for me, tight end wise. Now, this is the part where you could fade the chalk. If you know Sanders is going to be chalky and you feel like Theo can get the same amount, that's not a bad play. Wasn't Tyree Jackson a quarterback? Yeah, he used to. He he went to, he converted to tight end when he was in Philly. 
Yeah, that's what I thought. He just didn't know. Cager hasn't played in preseason or hasn't played in training camp. No. Nah. Man hurts who's a vet. He's a he's <laughs> a vet. he is up there. So I'm looking at the Johnson, man. I mean yeah, that might not be a bad I'm kind of looking at on this slate, Perry, my quarterback with a tight end. I know that's different, but mm-hmm. ownership wise, that could work for you. Playing Plumber and Sanders and playing Locke and Theo Johnson. So I know that. But yeah, I mean defenses, we kind of know how this goes. Play whoever you want to play. But again, the kick return kind of rule that you were talking about, that's definitely in play. Cause all it takes is one one touchdown to break the slate, man. You know yeah. how it goes. And like I told uh you earlier that you can definitely play your quarterback against your defense in preseason. Because most of the time, your quarterback is probably going to be out of the game by the time. Uh, it, no, not by the time. I'm, I'm walking over my words. Your quarterback could be out of the game, and your priest and your defense could score points maybe off the other quarterback, and it's not really going to hurt you. Right. Now, with the rotating quarterbacks and rotating players out there, you can play a starting quarterback against defense and not have any really bad repercussions at all. Yeah. So, again, hopefully we get no games that are going to be rained out. So, I mean, that was, was so I mean, mad. But, I mean, you I mean, were happy because you cashed. Yeah, I mean, if I'm in first place and it wants to get rained out, I mean, my God, let's call it now. Right? So, again, this is going to be an interesting slate. We have Thursday football. We have Friday football, correct? And we have Saturday. We have a game on Saturday, right? Yeah, I just – we got more than one game on Saturday. Yeah, so – we have games lined up, but that kind of breaks down the slate for us. I go again. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for hopping on, man. We're definitely going to try to break down Friday's slate for everybody. But again, have a great and safe rest of the night, everybody.